Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from the neutral laws of motion and particularly that is specific about friction. The problem is like this. There is a block of mass 2 kg kept on a horizontal floor with a coefficient of friction 0 0.4 between them. So I have to say there is a horizontal surface on which there is a block. This surface is a rough surface. So there is a mu between the block and the floor. Its value is 0 0.4. If a horizontal force of 2.5 Newton we are applying a horizontal force of 2.5 Newton on the block whose mass is of course 2 kilogram is applied on the body what is the frictional force that's acting on the body that's what our problem is let us try analyze and solving this problem we know whenever there is a friction force applied on a body frictional force try to oppose the relative motion so this is the direction of the frictional force acting you know the weight of the body always acts in a downward direction vertically that is the force applied by the body on the floor the floor applies a reaction that reaction is called as normal reaction we know that frictional force is directly proportional to normal reaction. We can eliminate the proportionality with a constant called coefficient of friction where mu is the coefficient of the friction. When the bodies are in the state of rest the frictional force is called static frictional force. The body will experience a maximum frictional force which is called as limiting frictional force as mu s into normal reaction in that case in this case mu s into mg mu s is given to you in the problem as 0 0.4 mass of the body is given like 2 we can assume acceleration due to gravity as 10 so that's going to be equal to 8 newton so f s maximum which is also called as a limiting force, limiting frictional force is 8 Newton. But in this problem, we have not applied a force that's equal to 8 Newton. But the applied force in the problem is only 2.5 Newton. But the applied force is only so you have applied a force less than the limiting frictional force or a maximum frictional force. So it won't happen this way that though you have applied 2.5 Newton force, frictional force is not going to become 8. It's not possible. There a concept called static frictional force is self-adjusting force. Static friction is self-adjusting. What do you mean by this self-adjusting? If you have not applied any of the force, frictional force also becomes zero that keeps the body in the state of rest. That's how it has to be. Say you have applied only 2.5 Newton. If the frictional force becomes, say for example, 8 Newton, then the body has to move against the motion. You have applied towards the left, but the body has to move towards the right, which is not possible. Correct or not? So what is going to happen is, if applied force is less than Fs maximum, which is called as limiting force, limiting frictional force, frictional force self-adjusts itself to the applied force. Frictional force becomes the applied force itself and it cancels the applied force. Therefore, F resultant is zero. That implies the body remains in the state of rest. This is called self-adjusting force. 
there is no other force in the nature which self adjusts itself other than the frictional force so now what is going to happen is as f applied is 2.5 newton friction developed is also 2.5 newton in the opposite direction and it won't reach the maximum which is called as limiting frictional force these two forces cancel each other so on this body f applied is 2.5 frictional force in the opposite direction also 2.5 both of them cancels and the body remains in the state of rest itself in the state of rest itself so this is an important point that we need to understand that static frictional force is a self adjusting force thank you for watching